Our last but not least lifetime laureate is Linda Revin. Pioneer of contemporary dance in Canada, Linda Rebin has more than 50 years of experience as a dancer, teacher, and choreographer. As a somatic movement educator, she helps artists and individuals from all backgrounds realize their personal and creative processes, both on stage and in their daily lives. An explorer by nature, she's traveled widely and is keenly curious of the cultures and rituals of different countries. As a workshop leader across Canada and internationally, she generously shares her lifelong passion, exploring movement as art, as a transformational process, and as a healing and spiritual practice. Your Excellencies, Linda Rabin. I came up with something so humorous. <laughs> I've got to go easy. Your Excellencies, honored guests, and my dear, dear friends and colleagues. Over my 50 plus years in dance, I've engaged in just about every possible role dancer, choreographer, rehearsal director, artistic director, but the heart and soul of my dance journey has been as teacher. Teaching is my passion and is deeply inspired by my lifelong quest to know what lies beneath the surface, at the origin of movement, at the source of creativity. I've lost my place. <laughs> as a teacher, I have the joy and privilege to accompany dancers in their moments of discovery, those magical aha moments when every cell of the body and psyche is transformed into oneness of purpose and oneness of being. Teaching rarely attracts the limelight or thrills the audience, yet it is that essential behind the scenes role that equips the performer to provoke, inspire, delight, or bring you to new levels of understanding. I receive this honor as a tribute to the teaching profession. The 1970s and 80s represent a tremendous period of growth in Canadian modern dance, and Montreal especially was teeming with creative energy. And I was fortunate to have been part of the scene. I traveled from coast to coast, choreographing and teaching. By 1981, together with my dear colleague, the late Candice Loubert, I founded a dance school, Les Ateliers de Danse Moderne de Montréal, which is known today as École de Danse Contemporaine de Montréal. We had to become more contemporary. <laughs> Our vision was to provide a training that cultivated not only the dance artist, but the human being within the artist. The program was and is still a holistic weaving of technique, somatic practice, and creative process. I'm proud of the school, its growth, and its place in Canadian contemporary dance today. Thanks are due to the directors who followed us, Tassie Teekman, Robin Collier, and particularly Lucy Boissineau, who has guided the school's blossoming both nationally and internationally for the past 17 years. I've had a rich and fulfilling career that I hope will continue for as long as life permits. I thank the many, many dancers across this country and beyond with whom I have had and continue to have the privilege of sharing this exploratory path their presence inspires me. And my message is, may we never cease to deepen our love for movement, movement as a performing art, as creative research, 
movement as the source of our, our well-being, and particularly movement as the fundamental expression of life. Thank you.